It's now time for the main event of the pre-show. We're about to crown our very first SCW X Division Champion. And here comes one of the first four participants. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. And it's for the Extreme Championship. Making his way to the ring. From Kobe, Japan, weighing in at 218 pounds, Sakamoto. Sakamoto, a former two-time GHC Junior Heavyweight Champion of Pro Wrestling Noah, a former NWA World Junior Heavyweight Champion as well. 297 days he held that championship. He's no, he is no stranger to championships that are more built for the smaller guys. Look at this. Look at this new gear by Sakamoto. Must be a special, special occasion. Talk to him. This is the kind of stuff that fighters wear when it comes to a, a big fight, a big match. They want to be at their best. Leonardo Silva came up short to being the internet champion, but can Sakamoto bring gold to the syndicate? Participant making his way to the ring. And his opponent, first, from Columbia, South Carolina, weighing in at 210 pounds, Drake. Drake the GOAT, blue pants, blue jacket, and he's got his scepter as he is the first supreme king of this company. Undefeated in SCW since his debut. Sakamoto undefeated from, from his sky high days. He has that going for him. We go coming into this match with, I think, the most momentum. Another graduate of the Palmetto Wrestling Academy. High flyer. Pretty good striker as well. Full of charisma. I was about to get inside somebody's head just by dancing or talking. I've known that man for over two years in my life. Not even two years, just years, man. I love him to death. The third participant! The newest member of the SCW roster. The dark horse of this match. And... From Moita, Japan, weighing in at 220 pounds, R Boy. He is R Boy. That's his name for real. Made his pro wrestling debut in Japan at the age of 15 years old, and someone asked about him, and the promoter said he's just a random boy. Someone said that in Japanese, obviously, and that's where he got his ring name, R Boy. Final participant who is the most experienced wrestler of this match. He's a treacherous soul, and he can strike with the best of them. The final junior heavyweight champion in SCW, Paul Heyman's client. It is Rex Jarvis. Here, a former. Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Champion, the only man coming into this match with an SCW Championship under their belt. Before he turned on Justin White, we have not seen Justin White since that episode of Sky High where he tried to tried to speak his mind after the betrayal of, on Rex, of Rex Jarvis. All him and not here tonight. Rex is going in on this alone. Canada's champion. Still have, I still have yet to really fully understand why Rex turned on Justin. 
They were at the top of the tag team division. They lost the belts, but still a popular tag team at Sky High. That beautiful belt. Oh my lord, look at that. I made that. Mahogany holding up that championship. That will go to the winner of this match in this scramble match. One fall to a finish too, man. This is going to be very chaotic between these four amazing X Division athletes in SCW. It's going to be freaking cool. Here we go. Look at, oh, Dre just dropped Rex with a clothesline right out of the gate as if Dre got shot out of a cannon. Got over the top rope with Rex, but Dre wasn't having none of that. Nope. Oh, missed the roundhouse. Takamoto and Arboy, two Japanese athletes going at it. Now, oh, the knee right to the gut, and Sakamoto sent Arboy to the outside. Country of Canada, Rex Jarvis looks to claim the X Division title. You know that's not an easy task. Oh, the super kick! Right out of the gate early on. Cover now. Look out. Nothing to be part of that. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, a cover on Sakamoto. What the fuck just happened? Uh-oh. Nice knee there by Dre. Go! Oh, and another clothesline. Knocking Rex down. Now we're going down to our boy and, uh, and Dre to go in the middle of the ring. These two go at it. Sakamoto just got back in. Whoa! Oh, these guys just tried to hit Sakamoto. Look at Rex. Rex lying his time. Rex is, oh, and the, I think that was a shining wizard. Rex is in no rush to get in the ring. Oh, but Dre got caught slipping. Now all four competitors on the outside of the ring. Uh oh now Rex and Sakamoto about to go at it. And every man for themselves in this match to crown the first X Division champion. Everybody wants to be the champion. Everybody wants to be a champion in SCW. And you do that by earning opportunities. And opportunities at championship do not come often. Oh, oh my god! Did you see that super kick? And again, no! It's looking for another one, dude. Oh, again! Jesus Christ, man! Dre got kicked square in the face on two occasions. Rex now celebrating as if he already won, but our boy right behind him. Look out! <laughs> oh my god. Suplex right on the shoulder. Played it high and tight. Those kicks by Sakamoto. Got here. Backbreaker. was going for something, but Rex, Rex trying to end it early, blow the kick out. Oh, wow, what a kick, right to the face. And, and Rex now, going to town on everybody. Starting to get to his feet, our boy off the ropes. Rex Jarvis, oh! DDT counter, and look at Trey, boom! You'll see in our X Division. 
Yeah, yeah, you may think we stole it from TNA, and, and perhaps we did, but the NWA Midwest had an exhibition too. Rex just buying his time with it. Rex is playing it smart. Oh, big knee! And oh! Oh, he bit our boy. Moved out of the way of the kick that time. And the kick. Oh, right in the chest. Rex in the corner. Rex had to sneak up on our boy from behind. But Arbo wasn't having none of that. And now, our boy. Coming down with a combination. Rex from behind. No, wait a minute. Our oh boy. Not this time. Our boy says no. Oh, our boy trying to get him to slip. No. Oh, no. he tried to get him on the clothesline. Elbow right to the back of the head of Trey the Goat. Look at this, the cover. Sakamoto could bring some gold. He got no. Dre kicked out. And look at our boy. What the fuck is he doing? He's not done. Oh, wow. Look right in the face. Look at Sakamoto. Look at Sakamoto. The yink angled. The yink. Oh, Dre. Oh, we got it. Oh, Sakamoto has done it. Sakamoto's done it. Sakamoto has won the championship. This fast-paced action, dudes. Look at that. Oh man, I did not see that coming. Here is your winner and new Extreme Champion. Sakamoto! Ray the Goat's undefeated streak is over, and Sakamoto's reign as the X Division champion has begun! What a match. The Syndicate now have gold in their group. All thanks to Sakamoto. Despite what we think of this man, despite the cocky, arrogant, self-centered personality and attitude, Chase De Niro is the real deal. Where he ended, Chase De Niro. Here comes the money. The power of money. Oh, the end of the deal. Had some great matches here and there. A pretty entertaining feud with JM a former tag team champion on Sky High, and has come close to winning the big ones. He's even been in the ring with the legends like Rikishi and John Cena. One of the most well-known things we know about De Niro, he gets under people's skin. And the latest one on that list is Stone Cold Steve Austin. My name is Stone Cold Steve Austin. Stone Cold is a man you do not want to mess with. The toughest SOB in the history of pro wrestling. He's got a stunner for everybody, and when he's the sheriff, look at Austin's face. He don't mess around. Austin, And now we find ourselves looking forward to the next SW Vision pay per view, where we will see the legendary Stone Cold Steve Austin step into an SCW ring for a match for the first time. And the scary part is. It may be his only SCW match. Chase De Niro has challenged Stone Cold to a match 
where the stipulation is if Stone Cold loses, he leaves SCW. Chase Nero has been making Stone Cold's blood boil for a few months now, and we all know how Austin feels about the money rate. I've done my research on you. I don't give a rat's ass if you're worth a billion dollars, two billion dollars, three billion dollars, four billion dollars, five billion dollars, six billion dollars, seven billion dollars, eight billion dollars. You piss me off, I'll open up an eight billion dollar can of wolf ass and serve it to you, and that's all I got to say about that. This is not only Austin's chance to finally get his hands on Chase DeNiro without any repercussions, but it's also an opportunity for Chase to show everyone why he is the main event player he proclaims to be. If Austin wins, he stays in SCW and he remains the general manager. Give me a hell yeah! It's De Niro and Stone Cold, and I believe this match is going to tear the roof off that arena.